Cambodia is insane. The first time I went to Cambodia was 2007. Uh, my ex-wife and I went there on our honeymoon. Listen, it was a bad marriage, but it was a good story, all right? <laughs> we flew into the international airport in Phnom Penh, right, in the capital city, and uh, there were rats at the airport with luggage. Like, we gotta get out of here. This place is nuts. <laughs> Cambodia is intense, right? So we show up, and then uh, as soon as we go outside, it was intense right away. Like, people would just be passing by on motorcycles and stopping, going, food, beer, pussy, smoke, you want? I'm like, what? There's food, beer, pussy, smoke, okay? I'm like, what? I want three of those things. <laughs> food, beer, pussy, smoke. The four food groups of Cambodia. <laughs> and then everybody said, get a tuk-tuk driver, right? Get a tuk-tuk driver, they'll take you around, they'll be your tour guide. I'm like, okay, sure. Everybody here knows what a tuk-tuk is, right? The motorized rickshaws. It's a great way to travel if you like the adventure of getting lung cancer. <laughs> so we did it, right? We went down to this muddy parking lot full of people and it was just... You know, a bunch of people, and one man was standing like this. Like the world's most confident person. All he was missing was a cape. I'm like, yeah, this guy. And he was standing next to his tuk-tuk, and it had a big snake on it, and it said, Mr. Mamba. I'm like, yeah. It should say, new best friend. You're hired, Mr. Snake. Anyway, we get in the tuk-tuk, right? We're driving around, and uh, we had a good day of sightseeing, and then the next day, we were going to go see some more. So I said, okay, and by the way, right, Mr. Mom, he kept calling me Mr. Brian, which I thought was awesome. He goes, okay, Mr. Brian, tomorrow I pick you up. Where I pick you up? I'm like, over there next to that pile of dead cats. Okay, see you there. <laughs> he picked me up the next day next to this pile of dead cats. We get into the tuk-tuk, we're driving around. We get a little hungry. We say, Mr. Mom, but we're hungry. He goes, okay, you go, we go. You hungry? Hungry? Are you hungry, Mr. Brian? You hungry? Are you hungry? I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Did he just say hungry 75 times? I think I'm more hungry now. And he goes, we go to Happy Pizza. You like Happy Pizza, Mr. Brian? You like Happy? You like Pizza? You like Happy? I'm like, you're super happy, dude. And I was like, yeah, I like Happy Pizza. I like Happy. I like Pizza. Let's go. Now, again, this is 2007. I didn't know, right? Happy Pizza, the first layer on the pizza is marijuana, right? Yeah, I didn't know. And the mushroom shakes, not organic. Magical. So I walk into Happy Pizza. They see me. They go, oh, big man, many happy. I'm like, yeah. Bring me your happiest pizza. Thank you. Then I sit down and I'm just there and I have like two, three, eight slices of weed pizza, two or three mushroom shakes. Yeah. All of a sudden, poof, I was like, oh shit. And my wife goes, are you gonna be okay? No. Are you gonna be okay? Cause shit's about to get real and you're gonna have to babysit me. And then Mr. Mama goes, oh, Mr. Brian, many happy. I'm like, fuck you, Mr. Mama. 